um, your role in the sports management diploma. It's got a bit of an emphasis on coaching and athletic performance at ICMS. Yeah, yeah. Look, that's a that's that's for students who come out and they and they want a bit of more of a hands on um, diploma around uh, sports management with uh, ICMS or or with high performance sport. And the, the the beauty of it is they do practical elements on a Monday. They do their lectures in either sports psychology or whatever the sports physiology that those subjects are at the time and the high performance. And they also do the business, the uh, the, the founding business subjects for a business degree. And um, the real the real winner of that course for me, uh, the reason I'm interested in it is because I get to actually work with these students. I actually get to mentor them on a daily basis. My 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 real target is to have them graduate. So as soon as they come in, you know, um, and this is something that I definitely brought from my years in the NRL 100%, um, which was shared with me by by the coaches, all the coaches I worked with. And that is um, even Des's mantra, making better people, making better, better people, you know. Um, and that's what I do with these students. I, I look at them and we work just as hard on life skills, discipline skills, getting here and there. Uh, making sure that you're looking after your body and your mind so that you can get to the next thing, um, asking questions, getting feedback, getting support, not just being on your own, not wandering, not traveling off in this direction because you're not quite sure, like using the resources around you. There's so many living skills that uh, Dave Dennis, the uh, ex, ex Wallaby and ex Waratahs captain, he, he handles all the coaching technical side and I handle the high performance side. And um you know, it's, um, yeah, Mon Mondays is, is training and lectures, Tuesdays is lectures, and Wednesdays is the specialist coaches come out, whatever sport they are, from kickboxing to volleyball, basketball, soccer, rugby union, rugby league, um, netball, gymnastics, whatever the sport is, we bring a specialist in and they get to work with them on that day. So not only do they get better at what they're doing and smarter, but they actually get fitter and they get a, a lot more, um, an extra hand from their parents on, on perhaps living skills and, and how to get through this year. And the whole target is to, is to graduate at the end of the year. So um, I'm really enjoying that. I, I, I think the biggest thing I miss in the NRL is the Monday to Friday kicking asses and, and just being that guy and discipline and, and annoying everyone. And, you know, having everybody just try to avoid me because you know, because I'm always asking questions, you know. I'm not big at telling people off, but I'm just really annoying with asking question after question and, 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 and until it feels like you're telling off. So I, I really miss that, and uh, but I get that with these students. I get to do that. They're adults now. That's the first thing I tell them. You're out of school. It's time to, you know, you got the big big boys and big girls pants on now we're in. And I'm, and I'm very, you know, um, I'm very close with them supportive warm and at the same time i'm firm with them you know if, if, if you're not somewhere or you're late i'm on the phone where are you what are you doing boom 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 um the second term has been so much better because they're used to that now and they've picked up some of those skills and uh and getting through their academic studies you know but um that's what i do miss about the nrl and i don't miss game day i'm really happy to get a cup of coffee and sit downstairs and flick the game on now the stress of the game I don't miss because even after after 20 seasons, after all those seasons that I did, um, and and even the internationals or whatever, I still get nervous. I still get nervous on game day. So I'd go in and and I would do, I would put myself in charge of duties that probably other heads of performance would say, What are you doing that for? You know, you're the boss man. And you know, uh, but I do them because it keeps my mind busy because I, I can't stand waiting for warm-up to come so I can get involved and then you know, it's a lot. It's always a long day for me, but I, so I don't miss the stress of game day, but I I really do miss the uh, the day to day workings of um, handling those athletes and getting the best out of them and, and being part of a being a conduit. You know, in in a, in a really good coaching crew. I think I saw that with your wife's post on Instagram. You guys having a coffee on a Saturday or a Sunday. She yeah. the, the post rugby league life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was my boss. Yeah, well, I do all my studies there. You know, with with the Well College Global. So. You know, and, I, and I've done some great studies there with uh, in coaching, which um, but just quickly, that's what I did was because I'm a sports coach, I've got a real manner about me. It's like, do as I say and do it now and, and everything's got to work out. Do it wrong and I'll correct you and we're going to go. But with human coaching and business coaching and personal coaching, um, 
you, you can't be like that because you can't put people into these times. So I went and did the CCP course, was coaching and, um, um, you know, uh, practicals and, and really upskilled myself. And it's, it's really extended me and, and, um, Pretty much, I must say, it has led to the success of my personal coaching business that, that I run now. 